Good morning and welcome to the Lakeside Viking News. I'm Ari Lapine. And I'm Lucas Ueda. And let's get right into today's announcements. As we prepare for testing and the end of the school year, students, please be sure to bring your Chromebook every day charged and with the charger. Within the next few weeks, DCSD will conduct an inventory that will require all students to have devices. Prom tickets will be on sale in the cafeteria during all lunches this Thursday. The Lakeside Beta Club will meet in the Fine Arts Auditorium on Thursday, March 24th at 3.20 p.m. There will be no Friday morning makeup meeting this month. All members are encouraged to attend the Thursday meeting. Lakeside High School is having a test prep contest. The contest is in progress and goes through March 25th. Students will have to log in on Gale Presents Peterson's Test and Career Prep. You can use this database to help you improve your foundational skills and prepare for standardized tests such as the SAT, ACT, and AP exams. Five winners will receive a $25 gift card courtesy of the Lakeside PTSA. Come by the Lakeside High School Library Media Center to pick up a packet about the database and how you can enter the contest. Now, to Man on the Street. Alright, it's down here with Arion. Alright, bro, what is your favorite villain? Uh, my favorite villain is Riddler from Batman. Why? Because he was crazy. And like, we never seen a villain like that. I mean, you got the Joker. But nah, Joker. Joker's not introduced in the Batman yet. I mean, he's still around, though. He was in other Batman movies. Yeah, Riddler's just my favorite, you know? Alright, it's down here with DJ. All right, DJ, what is your favorite villain? Not superhero, but villain. Really? Um, what's his name? Uh, Gotham from Batman. Y'all don't know who I'm talking about? Gotham from Batman? Oh, the little green one. What's his name? Yeah, Green Gotham. Green Goblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's two different universes, my boy. Oh, John. I don't watch it like that. I really lied to you, bro. Green Goblin from Gotham, yeah. I like that. I'll have to look that up for sure. I'll have to down here with Maybe. And? Deja. All right, y'all. What is your favorite villain? Catwoman. Why? Because she's a baddie. And she's a very good villain. So if they bad, you just like them? Yeah. Okay, what about you? I like the Joker. Why? Because he's a psychopath. I like psychopathic people. That's, that's very concerning. Big Joker, not the little one. Don't play with my man. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm here with Q. Alright, Q. Who is your favorite villain? Uh Ted Bundy. <laughs> Why Ted Bundy? Because he crazy and he killed people for a living. A lot of them. He killed them for a living? Mm-hmm. If you do it for a living, that means you get paid for it. He got paid to kill people. I mean, he feel good enough. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, we'll go with that. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching this installment of Man on the Street. You guys had some great responses to your favorite villain or so. And uh, I'll see y'all next Wednesday. Hi, I'm Ethan, and I'm here to take you on an adventure. Now, as we all know, all adventures start by moving in one direction for a long extended period of time. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Come with me. I just realized I can't exactly take you with me that easily, so let's just pretend we're walking in that direction. Alright, Fallen Sales is going on an adventure in an awesome steampunk vehicle that is not at all fuel efficient. Luckily for you, the road is full of trash, radios, and explosive barrels you can use to refuel. You also need to upgrade your vehicle on the way by selling puzzles and outrunning a giant tornado. If you want to learn more about Fallen Sales, visit this site here. I rate Fallen Sales 5 radios out of, uh, I can't really explain the story because I don't understand it myself like where is everyone did they all leave before we did like will we learn any answers in the sequel i mean there's like radios running and it's like you can hear music and stuff so that kind of implies that like that's it for today's lakeside viking news have a wonderful wednesday 